Hey guys, uh, welcome to another week. It is a uh, happy Sunday here. It is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers, uh, even though when you're watching this, it won't be Mother's Day anymore. Um, we are out here at Harrison Lake, and if I look around here, uh, my brother Sancho is with his son Oliver, and uh, they are working with some kiteboarding, um, as you can see there in the distance. And I am just trying to dodge the kite that they are flying around here. I'm the launcher today, so I'm launching the kite. Anyways, uh, yeah, the wind's not too strong out here, which I guess is a good day for flying helicopters, but not a good day for flying kites. And uh, anyways, I gotta go launch it again. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Pull back, pull back, pull back. So that's exactly what I was talking about in the classroom. Did you see how that went? Yeah. The helicopter sank. We raised the collective, the nose went to the right, we pushed left pedal, whoa, the nose went forward, and then the helicopter flies away, right? Okay. So how do we avoid that? We do three things at once, right? So let's go over those three things. As the helicopter sinks, what do we do? Raise the collective. Yeah, and? Pull the cyclic. Uh, left pedal and back on the cyclic. Yeah, back on now, the cyclic. Now, did you see how I only did a tiny bit of those three things? Yeah, look at the helicopter. So I'm raising the collective, I'm pushing left cyclic, or left pedal, uh -huh. I'm pulling back on the cyclic. As long as I keep doing that again and again and again, you feel how much left pedal I'm putting? Uh -huh. Eventually, I reach the hover. Okay. And this is how we sit here in the hover. I'll give you control there for a sec. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. Let's fly together for a sec. We're gonna hop over here. All right, so uh, that was a awesome flight for Shark. That's what we call a breakthrough day, where um, everything just starts to click. So in the first few hours, she's at about six hours now. Um, it's it's just so intense and everything is kind of overwhelming and stuff. But um, but all of a sudden, the body just kind of starts to figure it out, and and every, all of the, everything just starts to click. And that was that's what happened for her today, and you'll see that in the video there. <laughs> so the boys just came back from a navigation trip, uh, my brother Sancho and his uh, student Manpreet. And so let's head over the helicopter here. You can see they just shut down, uh, blades are still spinning. And say hello, how'd it go? It was awesome. Yeah, did you guys find uh, everything you needed to find? Oh yeah. Uh, we may have got lost a couple, three times. Oh, uh, getting lost, that's no <laughs> good. <laughs> Everybody meet Manpreet, this is Manpreet. And uh, yeah, so where'd you guys end up going? We went, uh, went out to Chilliwack uh, Lake, um, then around to Hope, Cultus Lake, and then back up the river. Right on. Yeah. Awesome day for it, eh? You didn't have any doors off today, did you? No, not today. No, not Would today. It a bit chilly still out there. Yeah. yeah. 5,000 feet, got a little brisk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it looks warm. If you look around here, you can see blue sky, sunny today, day, but it's actually not quite as warm as it looks. But anyways, so that, uh, that's Manpreet, and you guys will get to know him lots more as the days go on.
so we just had a sweet flight today. Uh, what did you accomplish today? I landed and I lifted off again. Wow, first takeoff <laughs> and landing by yourself. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> hey guys, uh, so I'm out here. It's the end of the day right now. Sancho's inside doing ground school with the students. And um, I am washing the helicopter. So part of uh, regular maintenance of the helicopter is to make sure that it's clean and washed. And so that's what I'm doing right now, um, as you guys can see here. Just giving the uh, tail rotor a bit of a wash. We were out doing some hovering in some dusty areas today. So the helicopter got quite dusty. And uh, so I washed the blades off, as you can see here. Give you a look. So yeah, the, uh, the blades are all nice and shiny clean now. Woo. And uh, gave the bubble a wash as well. <clears throat> as we get into summertime, there's a lot more bugs and stuff coming out. And so you can see the bubble of the helicopter is all nice and shiny clean so yeah giving the helicopter a good wash over that's part of regular maintenance is to make sure that we have a clean helicopter because as we say here a clean helicopter is a safe helicopter so that's what we're working on right now uh, so we're in the infield right now and we are practicing what are we practicing today auto rotation auto rotations and uh, yeah you're gonna see some shots of us coming down in the auto rotation and um, yeah, so let's see how that goes. We've uh, just got to ask for an infield circuit here. We're going to go up to a thousand feet and then we'll be doing our auto rotation. Okay. So it's looking good. We got 26 inches. We're letting it climb up to a thousand feet. enjoyed those autos and uh, guess who's back our uh, good friend John is back from California back from the Robinson course and so uh, he made it back in time for our weekly tradition it's Friday today and so we are here at Famosos I don't know if you can see the sign there but uh, yeah we've got a weekly tradition to come get some bisque soup and uh, so we're here at Famoso and um, yeah we'll uh, we'll see if we can catch up with John and get all his crazy stories from California. Yeah, it's, um, it's not like spectacular. Which it's only spectacular when you're close to the ground. <laughs> and that's the reason we make such a big deal out of it. Because... Thank, you. Thank you very much. Very good. And then uh, same, 66 right up. Yeah. Um, 100 degree pedal turn. Yeah. 318, 180. Yeah. Um, and then. 